Hello, Hello everyone. <laughs> so today we are here as we got bombarded by for last three four months after I started the channel and before that also like we had a lot of questions, uh, especially from you like uh, what are the different problems and challenges and other types of questions during a PhD and you might have seen Nadi because he also co collaborated with me before in some. Uh, videos so he's also going to help because he also got many questions during a, what happens during a PhD and what are the other questions surrounding that. Let's so. let's move to the uh, to another question we've yeah. uh, we've received. Uh, the other question we received is uh, what other projects do you have to take on while doing a doing a PhD? Um, that uh, that depends on the main topics that the, the research group or the university where you're doing your PhD is uh, doing research uh, about. Um, and normally when you are full-time PhD, you're not only working on your PhD. You have to do some other research projects, do some projects that the university or the research group is involved, uh, involved to. Um, and you have to uh, work a time schedule for yourself, how many times you can, can put on, on your PhD and how many time you have to put uh, into uh, other projects that you are involved to do. That can be uh, national or international projects and they are really interesting uh, because you, you, you meet a, a lot of uh, people, interesting stuff going on. You can have a lot of benefits from international contacts, mm -hmm. from subjects that, that are important for, for your own PhD, but where you can contribute to. Uh, so you have to look at, 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 at a really opportunity and, and a really positive challenge. Um, because when you're doing a PhD, you want to be a researcher and you want to contribute to a lot of interesting things that are going on. And because that's why it's so interesting being involved in a lot of pro research projects. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of which projects are you uh, taking? Yeah. The so moment? I initially my PhD was funded internally, but later I was assigned to a medical project which is called Safe Path, but. It may sound very strange, but it's somehow related to my research. So how you go about this is like you have certain ideas which you can use for your PhD or the thesis which you will write it later and you do something for the project and later, I mean, initially you try to align both of them and later what happens is like you do some contribution for the project and in turn you get the benefits for that work which is also part of your thesis or the PhD project. So you need to think about that in the beginning, like how your contribution can be used both like a win-win situation for mm -hmm. both the project partners and also for your PhD. Mm -hmm. And in that way, you also build the network and you get to learn different. I mean, in my case now only in the educational scenario, I did my uh, initial experiment but then you can use the same setting but in a medical setting and see how the data and what type of partners you meet people and what kind of data you get how is it how can your research be transferred to different domains and that helps a lot always like uh, meeting more people and being assigned to one or two projects although it might take out a lot of your time it might eat a lot of your time but still yes yeah. yeah. always good to have more the yeah. merrier yeah of course because because you can use those projects as a, as a pilot study and you can try out what works and what works for you uh, i ha now have uh, i've been involved now in two uh, uh, national uh, uh, projects who are externally funded uh, and uh, i'm doing research in primary schools um, and i get a lot of data out of that those two pilot uh, uh, studies uh, and it gives me the benefit to give me the direction what I want to investigate and what I can expect and, and I can uh, adapt on what I see and which way I want to go and pick, uh, pick up the, the research further on. So, so it really gives you the benefit. So please, if you are um, uh, thinking about doing a PhD, get involved in interesting projects, you get a lot of benefits out of it and it's fun, it's, it's, yeah. uh, it's really nice to do. So. Keep up the good work. Let's do them. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy the different parts of the videos and please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And comment below on all the 
things that we mentioned so that we can make future videos and we know what are your problems yeah. if you don't leave the comments if you remain silent then yeah. we won't know so yeah. thank you nadi again for collaborating with this nice thanks for the invite yeah, yeah. and it was a pleasure <laughs> it will be going on like this yeah. to give you guys all benefits yeah. okay bye till yeah. next time peace yeah.